when you order something off a restaurant's menu, that's what you expect to get, right? Not something else. But state health inspectors say a restaurant in Pasco County was misleading customers, advertising one type of fish on the menu, but serving a completely different one, cheaper fish instead. And that wasn't the only problem inspectors found inside Kawa, Japanese Steakhouse and Sushi on Little Road in Newport Ritchie. 10 News reporter Bo Zimmer checks out the kitchen in tonight's restaurant. Red Alert. A lot of people come here because they love the hibachi, they love the show, the right. cooks are super fun, they, right. they're very involved with the customers, right. and our sushi is absolutely amazing. But behind the kitchen door, state health inspectors found serious problems. Kawa Japanese Steakhouse and Sushi ordered to temporarily close following their December 4th inspection, racking up 29 violations. Chicken, beef, and shrimp found at unsafe temperatures. A black or green mold-like substance inside the ice machine, small flying insects in the bar area, and lots of live roaches on a bucket of soy sauce and all around the sushi bar three live roaches on the wall under oh. the sushi bar. We shared the inspection results with customers. That's gross. Roaches carry some nasty germs that can really get you sick. There were similar issues on the restaurant's health inspection back in June. That's when health inspectors report the restaurant was advertising one type of fish on the menu, but actually serving something else, replacing expensive red snapper with much cheaper tilapia and advertising white tuna, but serving another cheap fish called Escalar. That fish is known to cause upset stomach for some people because of its high wax content. That's gross. <laughs> I want to eat what's advertised on the menu. On Wednesday, 10 news showed up checking to see if those violations were now corrected. Yes, go ahead. Management agreed to allow our camera into the kitchen where we headed straight to the hand washing sink and found both soap and paper towels for employees to wash their hands. We searched all around the kitchen and sushi bar and didn't find any cockroaches. Just a full clean. Manager Sarah Johnson tells us pest control was called right away. Within 30 minutes they were here. Johnson says while the closure was unpleasant, her team got to work right away cleaning up the kitchen. We we love our customers. It's very important. We don't want anything bad to happen to anybody yeah. or we don't want to have a bad name as yeah. well. She says the restaurant has also updated its menu to make sure customers aren't misled on the type of fish they'll actually be getting. And that is not an issue gotcha. anymore. As we searched throughout the kitchen, it was hard to find any serious problems. Everything looks good in there, nice and clean. About the only issue we could find, this hand washing sink blocked by a rack in the dishwashing area. Other than that, the kitchen did appear clean. Is this place safe to eat? Absolutely. Management hoping the December health inspection won't keep customers away. And I just hope that people can look past that and know that our doors are open and that the health department is here and everything was fixed and we're working daily to make sure that it stays that way. Kawa Japanese Steakhouse and Sushi was clear to reopen on their follow-up inspection the next day. If you have a restaurant you'd like Bo to check out, email us at redalert at WTSP.com.